All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to your first What Up Wednesday. What we have here is a clear glass container, which is kind of like a pie pan. It has really, really hot water inside. Inside of that is a plastic cup with cold water inside of it. Now, I've had it been sitting here for quite a while, and what we're going to do is we're going to use our food coloring here to show convection. Now what convection is, is the movement of a liquid-like material due to temperature changes. The fact that I have warm water here and cold water inside of the small cup, I should have enough of a temperature change to where I can see some convection, the movement of liquid due to temperature change. Now I want you to stop the video right now and try to predict when I put food coloring right inside of the small cup where the cold water is at, what do you think is going to happen? Now I'm going to put the camera down and I'm going to put the food coloring in and we'll see what kind of motion we see immediately. I am putting this food coloring in really close to the edge of the cup. Okay, immediately we start to see the food coloring drop to the bottom. That's mostly because the food coloring is a lot more dense than the water itself. But as soon as the density starts to equal out, we actually start to see the food coloring start to lift up from the bottom. You can start to see the food coloring there kind of motioning its way up. This is due to the convection of the water in the clear pie pan heating up the water in the middle. The cool water is starting to heat up and that motion of the heat is due to the water inside of the glass heating up and becoming less dense than the water around it. Convection occurs in kind of a circular motion. So it's heating up here, cooling off at the top and then making its way. So kind of a circular motion. The next thing you're supposed to do is you're supposed to drop some food coloring right in the middle of the glass and see what difference you see there. This should be right in the middle of that convection circle where the water should be actually making its way down towards the middle. Okay, instantly we start to see a huge drop in the food coloring because that convection is carrying it down to the bottom and eventually once that food coloring makes it down to the bottom we should start to see it circulate and make its way back up the sides of the glass because of that circular motion of the convection you just have to be patient enough I did do this three times and it did work every time And of course, now that I'm doing it on videotape, it doesn't want to work for me. You can still definitely see some motion in the liquid due to that food coloring. I'm going to drop one more drop right on the side, right over here, just to see if we can see anything. Okay, there's my drop. It's dropping mostly due to that color being so dense, but we might actually start to see it start to make its way up due to that heat, that convection, the heat from the outside, water heating up the inside, making it convect. Yeah, really good flow there actually. That's a really good picture. You can see the whole circular motion. It's actually going counterclockwise. Okay, what this experiment shows you once again is how the convection of the mantle really close to the Earth's core works out. That motion of liquid like materials uh, as it's heated up closer to the core, it get, makes its way up towards the crust. 
and then cools off and then circulates back towards the core again. Super cool stuff. It's what's inside your earth. This has been Mr. Schmidt on your first ever What Up Wednesday. What up?